Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is uh, Saving Your Disaster Campaign, The Meat Grinder, episode number three. Uh, the first two episodes have been quite interesting. This is a very, very unique campaign with over 100 um, XCOM victims. Truly, um, yeah, truly a war of the Chosen. We have up um, fought back up um, in the first mission and managed to reduce the avatar uh, progress on the second mission we uh, um, uh, managed to uh, shoot down a uh, UFO and get uh, some resources and now it's time to hopefully get Colonel Trevi mystery a Templar would be absolutely fantastic to um, be able to um, to do uh, this uh, covert ops um, uh, VIP mission we got three Mimic Beacons again, um, uh, just to be sure. Got our core team here. This time I'm going in with two snipers, more so because that's the only uh, uh, kind of uh, team that is available. We got our Spark over here. I created a Mind Shield just in case uh, we're going to run into a Chosen. And yeah, other than that, I also took a Battle Scanner uh, with us. So that's where the resources have been invested in between. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Let's see if I can pull it off one more time. All right, we landed. It doesn't look too bad. So we got our VIP right here. So your position isn't concealed for the extraction. I guess that's going to be okay. Let's do an aggressive push right off the bat. Really himself, he? Taking the high ground here. I want to take the high ground here with our snipers, to be honest. Gotta be a bit careful. I don't want to pull a pack. Nope. That worked out well. Rolling. One over here. Sniper moves all the way over there. I guess we're ta uh, we're taking positions where we can um, get shots from crossfire. The lever is up here. That's pretty a pretty far stretch. Ah, you know what, I still want to go for the high ground. I think it is valuable. Moving up, the VIP stays in cover. And we got a random resistance out. operative who joins us. Welcome, Landon. You are, your help is appreciated. And there we go, we already triggered the first pack. Codex plus Mac plus a normal operative as far as I'm concerned. It seems that the Codex had been the leader. At least it took the shots and we managed to kill it. Apparently, yep, there's the little um, spine. Okay, well, that works for me. Let's make sure we can get both of them. Mm. Is it worth using a rocket here? We would destroy our high ground. That's most of my concern. But to be honest, uh, this here should be fine. I think we're going to be okay. We're just reducing the amount of high ground that we can take. Let's 
60%. Well, we could take a normal shot. Okay, good. Let's take everyone else's action first. This unit is relatively agile. Before we move the snipers. Let's take out the elite trooper. There we go. Very nice. Again, we don't want to trigger anything else, so I'm going to be careful here. Nice hit. If possible, we want to give the kills to our team. Let's take a look. We could... We could go in with a sniper right here and just ignore the high ground. Probably not the worst idea. Instead, take the shot and we're still in a solid position. Claire, on the other hand, takes the high ground. Still want to be careful with uh, where exactly we're moving. Uh, Vault stays all the way back here. I want him to be accidentally shot down. And our resistance operative joins us on the front line. Good, one pack down. We even got some loot. It's not bad. The mech uh, drops relative high level loot. Not the highest, but uh, it has a chance for superior items. Yeah, advanced laser sights, that's okay. Not perfect, but since we do not have any weapon modifications at the moment, I take what I can get. Position confirmed. Moving in closer. On my way. And once we're sure that there is no one here, we can take the rest of the team with us. Yeah, I like to put the sniper onto the high ground here. Continuing to move forward. Moving the VIP. And... Want to reload, Overwatch, Overwatch, and I should have probably checked the hack before. We're not going to do it this uh, turn, but just for our education. That'll be a facility. Oh, I like it. I think we're going to take that next turn. We can definitely need uh, use a facility lead. That would be awesome. It would mean that we could get um, right to another facility. Ah, the open spaces, the fresh air. Okay, no one. Well, that is surprising. Moving a little bit closer. Confirmed. On the move. I would have definitely guessed that Moving we would have um, found enemies by now, but apparently On the move. none of them are here. That's good. Let's take the hack and hope we are getting the facility lead. Second facility would really be coming in handy. Super. That's really good. Infiltrating their system. Yeah, we're staying back with the VIP. On Overwatch. Overwatch. So I can attack anything Scanning. that passes by. Got it covered. I'm on it. You hear that? Alright, the next peg is somewhat to the north. 
Nine turns are still plenty. Yeah, unfortunately we missed the shot. our rocket here. That'll take care of the overwatch and shred it. All right, overwatch removed. Uh, we probably need to start moving soon. Good, another pack down. Three plus two is five, meaning we're looking for Probably five more enemies. I'll comply for now. Continuing to move in. And since we haven't found anyone, we're double moving. I am going to move this one sniper way further to the front line. Mainly because I want to make sure that we're um, being mindful of the time that we do have available. Moving. Come get some. All right, hungering the VIP down. We got some overwatches. And our evex zone is right there. I'm pretty sure there is going to be another pack right at the evex zone. That's a pretty beefy pack. We're looking at a gatekeeper plus two specters. Ouch. That's a lot of hit points to chew through. Yeah, the specters are in cover at the moment. Moving a little bit closer over here. And let's remove their cover. Very nice. Worked like a charm. Time to get rid of the specters. It's one down. We still got we still got our uh, our teamwork ability here, so we got a mimic beacon just in case things are not going as expected. VIP moves definitely into full cover and hopefully out of the range of gateway because that could one shot uh, the VIP. Driving. We need to shred the gatekeeper. That was a really nice hit. And because I want to make sure that it continues to be shredded, 
Well, let's hit it with a rocket, shall we? Apparently that is too difficult. Wait, I just got it. Yeah, there we go. Nice hit, I like it. I give you strength. We're using teamwork. So that this mimic beacon hopefully is going to attract the attention. I'm on the move. And moving over here. Couldn't hit it beforehand. All right, very well. Now, let's continue to hit the gatekeeper. There we go, that's another three down. Already there. So we're uh, up to eight uh, kills. No, we were at eight. Wait a second. So we killed three here plus two over here plus three. No, it was eight all along. Hmm. Unfortunate. So five more to go. That's affirmative. Four more to go, sorry. We do not have a Mimic Beacon at the moment. That's a bit concerning. Here, shredding the heavy mech. Fortunately, missing. Using the VIP, definitely to run away. All right, we got one, two, three for potential moves. Moving up. One over here. Put off the armor. Now let's see the disadvantage of not having shredded him beforehand. We should have shredded him beforehand, then we would have taken one shot less. That was a mistake. Benjamin needs to move, can't leave him there. Well, we could. What would happen? It's probably mind control. This guy will not run out and flank us. Can he position himself here? No, he can't. So, Benjamin is actually safe if we kill. The Mac. Let's give an A protocol to Ivana over here. And kill the Mac. There we go. That's a good one. 
And... To be honest, this here is a better move. We can flank next turn and deal substantial amounts of damage. There's the mind control. What's in my nothing? It's nothing. It feels good to move around. All right. We're pulling the um, overboard shot, which gracefully missed. And let's try to execute the priest. the 50-50 because I want to retain the option to charge in with our ranger. To charge in with our ranger and uh, kill the other advent. Moving over, unfortunately we can't hit anyone. Scent is not gonna fly. <sighs> Fortunately, still got to deal with it. Moving to designated coordinates. That's the hit. Gonna need to reload soon. Understood. Moving We're out. moving in and let's try to kill this guy as well. Nice little crit. Worked out super well. Up, pistol overwatch, another move, and probably a reload. Ready to engage. Scanning. So the priest is going to use sustenance, uh, stasis rather. But it decides to move first, which is a mistake. Target neutralized. Because we got some pistol overwatch shots. Should I double check that for you? Locking and loading. Okay. All right, carefully. Continuing to move up. Roger that. No need to ask twice. Moving to designated position. I'm all over it. And we're almost there. One more turn, and we can evac. I feel light on my feet. Perfect. So Don't that's move. one, two, all over it. three, Orders confirmed. Moving out. four, Got it. five, 
six, seven, and eight. Everyone on board, guys. Time to leave the mission. So we got a facility lead, and I think it's even a flawless mission. I think we haven't taken any damage. Yeah, pretty much. Very nice. Worked like a charm. Very nice. Let's take a look. Do we get another promotion? Our troops are making it look easy out there, Commander. Perfect. Look at that. We got our first sergeant. That is so helpful. Well, we're definitely going for lightning hands. It's an incredibly strong skill. Got another corporal here. And this time we do not want to trigger overwatch shots. Demolition is good, suppression is also not too bad. I think we're going to go for demolition uh, this time. And we're taking revival protocol. Plus we do have a couple of points left over. We we'll also take haywire protocol. It's a really good skill and your support should always have both of them if possible. So we got a facility lead and more, even more importantly we got a colonel and we got a lot of intel. That is super helpful. Can't stress enough how valuable that is. It seems that this guy here has been captured. Holy moly, he had a blade storm sustenance, lightning hands, um, Templar. Wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father. He was, uh, and it is not even that badly skilled. I mean, I would I'm not entirely sure argue some of the skills are not optimal, but it was fine. Quick draw on top of lightning hands, so this is a pretty damn uh, good unit. Plus he's a genius uh, from uh, his combat intelligence standpoint. Uh, that is a really, really strong unit. Let's start the facility lead. Work is well underway, Commander. Just give the word and I'll get started. And I think we're going to train the colonies for a few years before linking up with Central, right? Yes. One of the advantages of working with that. So first and foremost, our Templar. I don't know why you wouldn't skill sustenance. Um, so you definitely should always go for that skill. It's incredibly good. It's a basically free revi uh, revive. And for someone who has lost 104 units, uh, that should be a no-brainer. We're a bit short on our AP to get Haywire Protocol, but that's okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. Yeah, we don't need Dead Eye yet. Grandier is fine as well. I think we're okay. Uh, let's see the other bond here. Sharpshooter Ranger. Yeah, that's okay. Good, so we got Sharpshooter Ranger and Grenadier Specialist, so those four clearly are our main team at the moment. And you got a lot of bond mates, so that's even better. I like where this is going. It is going in the right direction. We got plenty intel on top to work with. So, what's our next step? I think we're still going to make contact over here. Repeatedly to leave the Elders' artifacts as they 
oh, wait a second, we already made contact, right? So we could theoretically assault the facility and we probably should do that as soon as possible. Specifically, since we do not have any time left over. So let's take a look. Can we send in the soldiers who is available? So we got everyone available. Uh, we could use the same team. The only uh, problem is uh, that Snake Eyes here is tired, but I couldn't care less. We're probably going to use uh, that team in order to infiltrate uh, the base and make sure that we're staying within the game because it could end any second and we need to make sure that that we're uh, continuing strong. Okay, uh, let me optimize just a tiny bit. I uh, can't take someone away from here. Yeah, we could take this guy away. Makes the Wrath suit just a tiny bit up and longer, but we're speeding up the Psy training, which is exactly what we want to do. Okay, good. So I think this is where we're um, ending today's episode. Um, we're very much still in the cleanup process. Next episode is going to be the infiltration of um, the, the facility. And there is yet another facility beat on the way. So things are starting to look up quite a bit. Thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing and leave a like or a comment down below. Take care and goodbye.